Benny enters the room and sees Zoe and Blair utilizing supernatural speed to drain two guys bound on revolving tables. Zoe slams him into the wall. Benny reveals his true identity and why he covered for his brother. Blair prevents Zoe from drinking Benny, stating he may help them reach Jay. One of the guys wakes up to find his companion dead, breaking the rules. Blair murders him to silence him. Benny goes to the parking lot to tell the officer what he observed. When he names the killers, the officer arrests him and attempts to force him into his vehicle, but he lets him go when the girls declare Benny is theirs. After Zoe destroys Benny's phone, the girls convince the officer that Benny misinterpreted what he saw and depart with him. When he drives the girls again, he attempts to escape at a red light, but Zoe speeds him back to the vehicle. Victor drinks blood from a faucet linked to glass-caged captives at his mansion. After taking a photo with them, Victor heads to his boss's home to meet vampires Ava and Grace, who accuse Victor of being weary of being in the middle and not having any freedom due to the peace. He sends two females to murder all the vampire leaders since he owns everything, and Ava and Grace are next on his list. Blair updates Benny. Blair and Zoe, Victor's girlfriend, manage profitable enterprises. Victor is acting because he is weary of being powerless. Are you enjoying this video? Click that sexy subscribe button. You would be helping me continue to create more sexy movie recaps just like this for you. Jay refused Victor's request to assassinate the boss. The girls hired Jay to deliver him to Victor at night. Blair dropped the issue and smoked a joint with them since Jay would not say where his sibling was. So calls Victor, who murdered Ava and Grace. So informs Victor that they have the incorrect driver. Victor promises her he will take care of Jay and retain Benny as backup. Jay and his gang visit Yayo, a boss, since they fear Victor is pursuing him. They discover the home filled with vampire corpses and Yayo alone. Yayo informs Jay about Victor's plot and the girl's deception. He informs Jay of their next destination. Benny tells Zoe that he likes Blair when they are dancing at the convenience store. Zoe thinks the clerk is looking at them and calling someone, so she immediately goes over and pushes him on the counter to make him confess, but it turns out he has just been talking to his mom. After Blair puts tape on his mouth, they leave the place and go to their next location. When they get to the very exclusive bar, he tries to ditch the girls, but they threaten to kill him if he does anything. Since the girls are so important, they go straight to the door, avoiding Jay's crew, who is also bribing a club guard. The vampire boss is not in Benny and the girls' hidden chamber. A crossbow-wielding vampire hunter awaits. The hunter attempts to intimidate him, but the guy calls for his armed crew and orders them to murder the females. Benny smashes him in the head with a champagne bottle. Are you enjoying this video? Click that sexy subscribe button. You would be helping me continue to create more sexy movie recaps just like this for you. Jay murdered a vampire with a special knife after leaving the club. A vampire hunter attempts to recruit him, but he prefers solitude. Victor wants to save the race. Jay Victor is told to wait by a policeman as they depart. Benny leaves the girls to his grandmother's home after evading the hunter's crossbow blasts. She brings Benny to the kitchen to stitch and bandage his hand, so he walks to the bathroom to contact Victor and update him. Benny walks to his room and discovers Blair listening to music. Blair tells him about how she met Zoe in the 1970s and how she altered her life. Since they are close, Blair wants to leave Benny, but Zoe will not allow her. Benny, Jay, and Victor meet at a private restaurant, so it does not matter. Victor confesses to murdering Maria after discussing peace. Victor survives Jay's headshot. Benny and the ladies face Rocco, the ultimate boss, in their final location. After inviting them in, Zoe seduces him, so Blair and Benny leave them to sit by the pool. After another emotional chat, Blair interrupts the kiss to report that Victor has taken Jay inside the building. Zoe stabs Rocco, but he calls for help. Blair and Zoe drive after defeating more hunters. Benny takes them to Victor's place since Zoe needs blood to recover. Blair warns Benny not to follow Zoe inside. 
Benny dislikes going. Eve sneaks in after the ladies leave to worry about his brother Jay. He enters the home with a bat and discovers the inmates bleeding. Victor catches him and brings him upstairs for Zoe's blood transfusion. Benny offers to take them and let Jay leave. Benny attempts to murder Victor with the special knife, but Victor is too fast and stops him. Blair prevents Victor from killing Benny by declaring she no longer wants to participate. Zoe stabs Blair in the stomach during their quarrel because she imagined they would be together forever. Benny started the automobile with his keys because he placed a pebble on the gas button. The automobile smashes through the glass, letting the sun scorch him. Zoe ate ash. Before Jay enters chains, Benny grabs the knife. As he approaches, he realizes Victor put everything up to lure him into the shadows. Victor bites Benny immediately. Blair, still alive, leaps on him and stabs him many times, but he effortlessly throws her away. Jay takes advantage and knocks Victor into the sunlight, killing him. After Maria's memorial, Benny meets Jay for supper. He will remember who did it. Weeks later, Benny studies in the library, but a woman's pulse distracts him. He meets his classmates outside the building. Since he has been gone, they have checked on him, but he says he is Oak. Blair's luxury automobile picks him up, leaving everybody stunned. Did you enjoy the video? Click that sexy subscribe button. You would be helping me continue to create more sexy movie recaps just like this for you. Now click this video to enjoy another sexy movie recap. You won't want to miss out on its shocking and satisfying ending.